Hi. Um, good afternoon. Today is January 15th, 2011. It's actually my uh, 39th birthday. And um, I am just as a follow up, I'm currently now on DHEA for three months and three weeks. And I um, just wanted to show those people out there that are about to go through IVF or wonder what it's about. Um, I have all my medications here because it's just about that time to start my injections. So um, you get all the materials. I don't know if you can see this quite well. This is the needle. This is actually the, uh, uh, this is a dispatch that you take the fluid out with. And this is the actual needle that you inject with. So I'm going to make my first one. And the first one I take is actually a little vial of fluid. And uh, they're very strict. You have to wipe everything down with alcohol. So I am about to give myself my first injection. And you actually have to make the solution up yourself. It's quite easy. It looks a lot worse than it is. But um, you just actually take the vial itself, and there's what's called a Q-cap. And the Q-cap basically goes on like this, and it just screws on. And this is what you use to puncture the vial so that you can make your medicine. The medicine's all quite fresh, and actually it's kept in the fridge. So I am just going to take the vial of liquid. And as you can see, you just take the vial and you cap it on like that, and then you're just going to pull all the water back so that it goes into the vial before you have to inject it into the powder. And it's actually quite easy. So there's the first one. Now you get a powder like this. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's a little powder. And how it works is you just wipe the lid off again with rubbing alcohol. And I'm now going to inject this liquid into the powder. I'm just going to push it in all the way slowly. And what's going to do is it's going to dissolve the powder with the water solution. And uh, I just realized I'm short one powder, so I'm going to just quickly go grab one. I'm just going to let this sit here. Now, for the faint-hearted, um, I probably wouldn't watch the next step because that's where I'm going to be injecting it into my stomach. But uh, I just got to grab one more vial quickly here. And this is actually um, one of the injections that I'm on. It's called Menopure. Uh, but uh, I'm short one of the powders, which I'm going to now mix the second powder. So now you just actually take that first powder in, in saline, put it back into the vial, make sure you get it all. Then I'm going to take the second powder and inject that into there. So now I'm taking the first powder in saline with the second powder, drop it in like that, quite slowly. And then I'm just going to stir it around just gently there so it dissolves because you don't want any of the uh, powder not being dissolved. I'm just going to let it dissolve like that. And it looks almost done. There we go. So I'm just going to take it back. Now inject it back into the vial. And that one's good. And now just have to take the cap off and put the needle on. Now the injections have to be the same time every day. It's easier for the uh, fertility clinic to monitor everything, so I take the injections every day at 3 o'clock. And that's the first needle, it's ready to go. But I have two more needles that I have to get ready. So the first, the other two needles, I've already got them ready. And there's actually a little dial on here, I don't know if you can see it. These needles come already made up for myself, they're kept in the fridge. So I need to take 450 milligrams of this injection. So this is kind of what the pen looks like, and it's already got, I've already got it scheduled at 150 so now what I need to do is I need to pull it out the cat the end of it and it's going to actually properly make sure that I take 150 milligrams out of this one so I just pull it out all the way now there's no needle on the end but it comes with a really little easy needle I don't know if you can see that there so this goes on like this and it just screws right on and the safety caps there when I'm ready to take it and the second one is right here, and this is set, I take 450 milligrams of this pen. So the first one's set at 150, the second one's set at 300. So I'm going to just pull the cap out, 
and that's going to indicate how much solution will come out of the pan itself. Take the lid off, put the other needle on top. It looks really bad, but it's actually you get used to it. And uh, now I think I could give a needle to anybody. So most important is um, sanitation. You want to make sure your hands are clean every time you go to put the needles on. So now I'm going to take the next alcohol swab and wipe my stomach down with it. So I wouldn't suggest watching the next part um, if you have a bit of a weak stomach, just because I am about to inject three needles into my own stomach. So I'm going to wipe my tummy. As you can see, I do have what's called um, an estrogen patch. That's something I'm wearing right now. You can see some bruising and swelling on my tummy, but it looks a lot worse than it actually is. It's best suggested that you put it into your stomach. They do say you can put it into your thigh, but I'm kind of of the firm belief that when you're trying to get pregnant and everything's in this region, it's probably better to um, put it in the stomach. So, the first needle. Before I put the needle in, you want to make sure you obviously have the cap off. And I want to make sure that this is all the way to the top making sure there's no uh, air or bubbles in there. So I'm just going to push it all the way to the top. And just before any liquid pushes out, just going to tap it there to make sure there's no bubbles in it because I don't want the bubbles going obviously injected into me. So the first needle, and this one's actually called the Menopure, just a little pinch a little area of fat. <laughs> and I'm just going to inject the needle if you can see right into my stomach and it doesn't really hurt that much once you get used to it and just slowly inject the Menopure it stings a little bit when it first starts to go in but it's actually not that bad and I just push it really slowly because I find if it goes in too fast it, it, it does have a bit of a stinging sensation what women will do to have a baby, eh? So, just putting this whole amount in, and then I'm going to be putting the two other pens in. And the reason for these injections, if nobody's aware of it, is that what they're supposed to do is I currently now have seven follicles, and the uh, fertility drugs themselves are meant to help them grow and be ready for egg retrieval. So I'm just going to wipe that area off, make sure that nothing comes out, and get ready for the next two needles. Now I do have what's called a hazard container they give me to put all my dirty needles in so that nobody gets hurt around the home. And I just want to make sure I put the cap back in. And the next two, so this is the pens that I take, and I've got it set at 150, so I'm just going to take the cap off. Now these do a snap injection. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on the webcam. And I've just got a little bit of air bubbles there, so I'm going to get that out. But these actually do a snap, and that lets me know that they're going in. So this one's a little bit more annoying. But, again, you get used to it. So again, I'm going to pinch a little bit of, well, I guess I have a little bit extra, a little fat there. I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to inject, obviously not in the same hole that I just put the other needle in, and I'm going to inject 150 milligrams. It's just snapping in, letting me know when it's done. So the last snap lets me know that one's done. So just pull that out, put the lid back on because this is going to be thrown in the garbage. I always take a new needle every time. And now I'm going to take the 300 milligrams. Just going to wipe my tummy again. There's a little bit of blood there. Don't know if you can see, but don't want to get that on my shirt because I'm going out for my birthday dinner tonight. My 39th birthday actually. And I'm about to put the 300 milligrams in. So, oh, just a little bit of extra blood there. Nothing bad though, doesn't hurt. So I'm just going to put this one in now. I'm just going to pinch the area again. Don't want to go near the injection sites, the same one. So I'm just going to pick a different one. And I've got it pulled out all the way. Just going to double check I do. Yep. Yeah. And now I'm going to put the 300 in. You might be able to hear it pop, and that's the cap letting me know what's going in each little injection. There we go. And it's almost done. There. That's the last one. So I'm going to pull that out. 
put the safety cap back on. I'm just going to wipe the blood area there just because I don't want to get it on my clothes. And I uh, don't know if you can see the injection site there. It's not too bad. I mean, you can see that th those are just patches I'm wearing right now. I don't know if you can see that. They're the estrogen patches. That doesn't come off right away. Uh, it stays on pretty good through the shower or swimming or anything. And uh, ready to go. So that's my daily routine. Um, I go in tomorrow for an ultrasound to see how the seven follicles are doing. And those seven follicles will determine um, what size they are. And uh, if they're good to go, they'll let me know what day I go in next week for an egg retrieval. And once I have the egg retrieval, what they'll do is they'll take those follicles out and they will mix them with a fresh um, semen sample from my husband. And uh, they'll put them together in the lab and hopefully within 24 hours they'll fertilize and hopefully those seven follicles will all survive. And uh, three to five days after that, cross my fingers, that um, they uh, live in the lab, fertilized, and start to cell divide properly into embryos. And then at that stage, they'll call me back and they'll put whatever embryos that survive back in me. So, wish me luck. Um, it's my birthday, so hopefully all goes well. Thanks so much, and uh, I hope this uh, video was helpful. Thank you.